Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back. I am Manelki and this is Let's Play Stellaris as the Squawk Confederacy. Now in the last episode we saw our our space turtle BFFs <laughs> go to war with these ugly monkey things. So thankfully, well we weren't allied with them at the time so we're not going to get dragged into it. Um... So we're just continuing to uh, sort of like branch out and take all these resources. Now we have our Feather Force here, who's busy upgrading right now. We're, we're trying to increase its strength so that we can go on and take out some of these stronger threats at the outside of our system, or our territory rather, so that we can actually start harnessing more of these resources as we continue our quest for the very best space crackers. And actually, on a side note, come to think of it, uh, I would like to apologize to any parrots watching this uh, watching this video for any racial profiling that I might be doing with the whole uh, cracker thing. I'm so very sorry. Now, where were we? Okay, so uh, it looks like our colony ship is en route to colonize that planet over there. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, nice. Special project complete. Oh, special project. Our archaeologists on Tiblik 4 have learned that listening arrays built, they were used to scan space for any signs of intelligent life, something that youth had never once encountered. After managing to partially restore power to the computer terminal, the archaeologists acquired a data disk with log files from the sensor array stretching over centuries. These logs suggest that the section of galaxy was indeed devoid of sentient life at the time of the Ute Empire. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. So we have an idle science ship, and we can't have that, so... Okay, we already have a science ship doing that over there. Okay, why don't you go survey Jabba? I feel like we've tried, and I think we got chased away. That seems familiar. In the meantime, what do we got going on at Kongath? Let's get through solar panel network up there. Get some... Get some stuff going there. Oh, look. We can have an upgraded spaceport. Let's do that. Let's upgrade the... No, we can't. That's a level 3. This is only trying to upgrade a level 2. Gotcha. So that's fine. Okay. What do we got? Inactive buildings? Okay, that's no good. And we can upgrade power plants. Perfect. This, we want physics. Because our physics is starting to fall behind. And, oh, here's our inactive building. I see it. Okay, well, let's get you on there right now. It requires a grown pop, right, of course. Oh, might as well have you on there. Because that's a better that's a better mine anyways. So we just generally need more pops on this planet. Let's clear that. Oh, I can't. We don't have any money. <laughs> okay, whatever. Let's continue. Our energy storage is full, so we're gonna have to build some uh Actually I'm not sure if, if any buildings contribute to that, come to think of it. I know well, I know research contributes to it, but I'm not knowing about uh actually building buildings. I don't know if there's any anything there. Now we have... Anomaly found. Oh, somewhere below the ice terms of the perimeter. There is movement. We got an underwater ocean. Okay, we're losing money. More inactive buildings. Let's continue to upgrade these power plants. Let's upgrade this guy. Even though he's not active yet. Just so we don't forget to do it later. Construction complete. Alright, construction complete. Nice. So our feather force is looking a little bit stronger. Uh, let's have a look here. Still can't build any destroyers. I guess we need the tech for that. Alright, idle construction ship. It's kind of what we were waiting for. System we, survey complete. So we want to go over there and build the uh, the research stations. Get our research uh, sorted out here. 
see what we got in this system. Okay, nothing terribly interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't think so, anyway. Okay, mm -hmm. add our cap. So he is actually surveying that. Well, that's good, at least. A species of ice and ice? What? Java, yes, yeah, sub zero climate is not particularly conducive to intelligent life or indeed life at all. However, some species have evolved to withstand and master this environment. And Science Officer Feathers of Orange is interested in seeing just how far these beings will go given the introduction of some external factors. Something to keep in mind in the future. Okay, that's cool. Nothing appears to have come of that, though, which is really peculiar. Alright, Science Ship, go survey that. And Mr. Construction Ship. Okay, you can't do that. So let's cue the physics up manually. Okay, um, we have 22 Corvettes in our Feather Force. Let's go, let's go over to this black hole and see what we can start a fight with. Clear the way so we can uh, survey that properly and get these other areas cleared out as well. Might also create some some nice corpses for us to study, which is always good. Now I am feeling another colony ship. Oh, 375. Okay, we'll Evading wait. hostile fleet. Oh, oh, oh. Crystalline entity. Oh wow, that's uh, that's too strong. So we'll have to go back to Jabba. Abyssal hosts. Chasmal Horde. Okay, we can't fight that. So let's go there. Yeah, we definitely can't fight that. What do we got here? System survey complete. Nothing. Alright, well, let's get surveying that. Pretty lucky. Okay, so we're almost ready to build our new colony ship. We're going to take that that other uh, tropical world. There we go. Okay. Evading hostile fleet. Ancient mining drones. Really? Well, that's interesting. If that be the case, we can certainly send our uh, send our fleet up there to kill those mining drones before our space turtle friends do, then we can research them. Okay. I don't... I'm uh, not sure where we look in here. Oh, we can take... Yeah, we do that one. So you can go here. Alright, so the Feather Forest is bored. Go up there and kill the mining drones. I don't know if we had enough uh, research into mining drones to get those special mining lasers. But we will certainly see in a minute. Okay. Oh, more hostiles. Oh wait, that's just the, uh, the drones. Okay. Get in there and take him down. Construction complete. Hostile fleet uh -huh. engaged. Slow that down a hair. What we got? I think we can research do it this time. Complete. Oh, research. Railgun. Perfect. Now, what do we need? Unlocks destroyer. That would be nice. Uh, plasma thruster. We can get uh, better sublight maneuverability. Mining network 2. That's kind of important. I feel like that actually trumps destroyers at this point. We can still just make a bunch of corvettes if need be. As cool as destroyers would be. Now what is with this buzzing around, not doing anything? That's new as of the last patch. They they changed the way fleets move to make it more interesting with or more visually pleasing. Situation log updated. But in the end, ultimately. It just, uh, it broke a bunch Hostile of things. Fleet engaged. All right. Take it down. So 
So, not much to that, really. Um, so, this construction ship. Yep, go ahead and build the research stations. You are also bored, so why don't you build some mining stations? Perfect. And science ship. I feel like you could survey that. Situation log updated. Wrecked. Perfect. Now what about Jubast? Let's go clear out some bad guys for our turtle buddies. And Okay, there we are. It's on its way. Okay, so we should have our colony ship by now. Unless I've already given it the order. 12 tropical, 12 tropical. Okay. 17 tropical. Maybe we'll take that. We'll get more territory as well. Well, actually, 18 desert. Uh, terrible. Oh, I can't. I can't colonize that. That's right. I keep forgetting. I don't have the tech. So we could take either the desert or the tropical here. No, we can't. We can only take the tropical. <laughs> what is it? Wait, we can't. What? Oh, it's got to be surveyed. And it's wait, what? Gotta be within our borders. No, it doesn't. No, it does not. What? I've... No. Something's up with that. I know I've uh, colonized stuff outside of our borders. I feel like I have anyways. And either way, it's just barely outside our borders. That's too bad. Well, we're gonna colonize this guy. Requires a colony ship. Are we still building that? I must have been looking at the wrong thing because I was under the impression our ship was almost built. Oh. Fleet engaged. Oh. Oh wait, I was looking at this one, Bivam. That's that's what it was. Yeah. Okay, so we've encountered some more crystals. And if we would start shooting back, I'm sure colony we'd be pretty good. Alright, colony established. Bivam Prime. Let's get that spaceport going. Speaking of spaceports, we're going to need some more Corvettes. Oh, too many things at once here. We have encountered some form of alien vessels. Kappa aliens. All right, let's go check out the Kappa aliens. All right. So we did lose a couple Corvettes there. That's all right. Let's go take those guys there. Just don't have any free science ships. Whoa, actually, there's a lot of stuff in there. That's a serious system. Very serious. Let's have a look at the surface here. Can we clear that? We don't have the money to clear that. Okay. We'll let that go. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, idle construction ship. Oh, we're gonna have to wait on that, I guess. Don't have the money. That does seem a bit odd. Should be able to build something here. Yeah, build that physics station over there. Continuing to lose Corvettes here, but that's okay.
This is pretty generous if you think about it. So we're not really getting any out of this except if we manage to get our science ship down here, we can start researching those corpses. Actually, we don't even have any corpses yet. We gotta kill them all before we get corpses. Okay. So what else we got? So bivam. So you're building the spaceport. You're building power plants. Let's upgrade you. Oh, Bluke. Hostile fleet engaged. Oh, Bluke's good. Back to the battle. Debris analyzed. Nice. That means you're bored, so why don't you go here? We're getting there. We are totally getting there. And we now have a new colony ship. That is like just outside of our borders. Damn. Let's take 12 tropical there. That might even push our borders there, actually. Yeah, I think that would. Let's colonize this. We'll start. We'll start doing a lot of colonization here. Yeah. And we'll go here. Korach Prime, why the hell not? System survey complete. Okay, what's this now? Okay. Situation log updated. Okay, so we beat them. Okay. Feather Force, you guys go home, get repaired. So our construction ship needs to start building that. Build those mining stations. Give me all the resources. Evading hostile fleet. What? Evading hostile fleet. Oh, we're not done here. I thought we were done. Apparently not. No, don't evade. Evading evade. hostile fleet. Evading hostile fleet. Okay, he's determined to run. All right, whatever. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, you can go ahead and survey this. Special project complete. Oh, interstellar Deary Confederacy. All right. Greetings. I speak for Executive. Kathiox and the wealthy elite of the Interstellar Dairy Confederacy. We are always looking for new trading partners among the many diverse and delightful alien nations we encounter as our ships explore the galaxy. Cool. Xenophile, so he likes people. Fanatic materialist, so he's a scientist. Cool. Nothing but friends. Construction complete. And crackers. Give me all of your crackers. Okay, so they're here. And they're kind of wary, but that's cool. They said they like trading. Let's trade something. What do we need? We actually don't... Well, we can trade a little bit of money. Get some energy. We don't need anything, actually. Come think of it. What if we give you star charts and you give us star charts? You son of a... Okay, well, I'll give you... A couple of credits to make you say yes. Actually, we're not gaining any credits right now. I don't know if that's wise. But we'll get trust out of that anyways. Situation log updated. Whoa, we've encountered for them. Okay, that's because we just got their star charts. So let's go ahead and research them too. Lambda aliens. Do it. Great. Okay, where were we here? Ah, yes. Taking on the crystals. Situation log updated. There's the corpse that we need. So, science ship. Go research the projects. Wow, he really flew pretty far away, didn't he? Alright, construction ship. Build the research stations. Research complete. Alright, what do we got? Hyperlane mapping, right on. 
So what do we got here? We don't care about that, and that's meh. Colony development speed? That might actually be kind of useful, just given the... Uh, just given how much colonization we're doing. I kind of feel like I... Yeah, let's, let's give that a go. Um, so we lost two more Corvettes. Okay, so you guys go home. Luke will continue to crank out Corvettes to reinforce. Okay. These guys are relatively strong. Okay, let's speed that up a hair. Should be able to uh, to research that at some point. Doesn't appear that there's any hostels. Okay. All right, science ship. All right, go uh, go survey that. Wait, what am I doing? No, it's fine. That's not in my territory anyway. I'm not super concerned. Not super concerned with what's there, I guess. Construction complete. Okay. Luke's done. Alright. Research station. Perfect. So you just keep cranking out the Corvettes. That. All right, okay, so we are repaired. Now, did Bivam have a freaking? Okay, it does. Kongat, of course, has one. Let's get the assembly yards there, and then we'll start producing Corvettes there as well. Special project complete. We've established with the Tesnit sovereignty. Whoa, that's not cool. I speak on behalf of Tessas, we are a democratic nation committed to upholding individual freedoms of our citizens in a galaxy full of alien horrors. Oh no. There's Xenophobe. Our elected leader, President Oberwun, warns you not to interact with our citizens or approach our space. Peace be with you, Tesnids. And you are where? Aha! You're behind these guys. Okay, that's fine. So things are starting to shape up, starting to meet our neighbors here. We're losing money. We don't to finish, that's fine. Okay. Well, we're going to have to uh, take sides here, so we're going to... Maybe what we can do is we can actually, because they like us and they like us, maybe we can form a federation with all three of us. How cool would that be? I haven't played around with federations a whole lot. Um, they seem to take a little bit of control away from you, but it certainly is an interesting fun thing to try just for the sake of you know flavor or whatever uh, that being said actually I wonder if I should propose an alliance with these guys so I get what do we need okay he's, he's just still wary of us Can we trade anything like I'll give you like a little bit of minerals if you give me a little bit of energy. A oh, wary attitude, okay. Well, maybe tr trust will grow. Once this guy's war is over, I might just ally him. I don't really want to get dragged into a war. Or do I? Analyzed. Maybe I do want to get dragged into a war. These guys are assholes. Let's declare... No, wait. We already have a rival over here. We don't need... I suppose I could declare a second rival. He only has two planets. Let's check his military status. He is inferior. You know what? Let's rush to the defense of our BFFs here. They must be at peace. Ah, oh, okay, can't do it. That's too bad. Alright, we got some crystal research. And research we're complete. about to get some more. Oh, we got two. 
Monthly influence plus one, nice. What else did we get? Okay, mining network too, so we're gonna have to uh, focus on that, I think. Okay, defense platform. I'm not gonna build those. I've never built them. I've, I don't find them terribly useful, and they cost an insane amount of upkeep, so we're not gonna worry about that. Mineral storage, sorry, mineral storage, engineering facility two, mineral silo. Go with engineering research or minerals. Let's go with engineering research. Get that going. Um, no, you know what? On second thought, we're we're getting a lot of minerals. <laughs> we better do that. Psy warriors, cool. Uh, army upkeep, military academy, unlock psy warriors. Okay, this will stay, so we don't have to worry about that. Whoa, that's cool. Let's get Psy Warriors. So why not? Psionic Parrots. Why would there not be any Psionic Parrots? And I believe that actually might be a really good spot to call it. So, we're really starting to uh, step out into the neighborhood here. We've met our two relatively friendly people. This guy not so much. This guy not so much. Um, little ping in it. Yeah, there we go. This is our happy zone. I think maybe what we'll try and do is we'll form an, a, a federation. We're gonna we're gonna try that with our two somewhat close, happy neighbors, and then we're gonna crush the faces of everybody else. And if the federation doesn't work for us, we can always leave it, but we can stay allied with these guys. So that's what I think we're gonna do. So we've made some really good progress. We are making quite a bit of minerals. We do need to work on our energy income, sadly, but we can certainly do that in the next episode. That's no problem. Or, well, at least I hope we can anyway. We'll see what happens. So now we have this in our habitable area, or our, our influence area, and I think we're going to take it. But, uh, again, that'll be for the next episode. So, as always, thank you guys so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Now I'm building this. Primitive alien civilization. Okay. Equivalent of Renaissance era. I left the medieval age behind, but it was like, you know, just rapidly.